Hello everyone, I am Trekkie1701C, and let's go ahead and continue our playthrough of FS Sport. Welcome to Advanced Training. Looks like, uh, more training to skip. There we go. The Radical Vasudan Splinter Group, known as the Hammer of Light, has been conducting many surprise attacks on convoys throughout Beta Cygni. These attacks must so I guess be we're doing another uh, Hammer, of Hammer of Light, Light mission to, to uh, take out some more students. Which I don't have too much of a problem with. They didn't seem very tough, to and I don't remember them being all that uh, all hard to kill. Activities in the system has been located. This depot is guarded by a wing of Seth-class fighters as okay. well as an Aten-class cruiser, the Ramses. The well, that might make it a little bit more difficult. I didn't remember them so having the a cruiser. Should be simple. Your primary objective is to capture the Aten cruiser Ramses. You okay, we don't have to destroy it, to just uh, disable it. Then protect the Omega transports while they capture it. So that'll make it easier. Do not destroy the Ramses. The crew of the Ramses will be interrogated to learn more about the Hammer of Light. Once the Ramses has been disabled and disarmed, destroy all cargo in the area. The Hammer of Light cannot be permitted to resupply. The containers okay. store the Sudan supplies so that's a useless to the GTA. Raid mission. It looks like just disable that ship you are to and the Alpha Wing on this operation. Uh, Your ships are equipped with our new shielding system. Case of any oh, we have shields now, so uh, this actually ought to make it very, very easy. So, uh, let's see. Going with the Valkyrie, and uh, let's see, got the Avenger and the Disruptor. So, that should be good. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. Let's see, there's the Ramses up there. Not going to worry about him too much. And you also notice I have this little energy management gauge down on the bottom right of my HUD, and it's now got a shield thing, which uh, I can use to adjust my shield uh, recharge rate, assuming I can remember the key for it. Uh, unfortunately, the keyboard I'm using is kind of a non standard layout, uh, so it's not. Uh, I didn't reset the key bindings to make sense. But I don't think I'm going to need anything quite yet, because uh, these guys really can't do a whole lot of damage. Because they're not really punching through my shields at all. Yeah, like that, I caught, got caught in a little bit of a blast. Okay, there, finally I took some damage in a collision. But, uh, yeah, they can literally just shoot straight at me and uh, not really do any damage until my shields go down. Okay, uh, let's select his engine. This is odd. Sensor source shield systems on those Virgo Hammer of Light ships. Let's get around to where his engines are. Hopefully those shielded fighters don't cause any issues. I'm going to sit here and try and see what I can do. Uh, there are keys to adjust uh, the shield quadrants, which are just the arrow keys. So it doesn't seem like the it's working too well. I'm taking too much of a beating here. So let's get out of here and. Uh, Okay, I see what's happening. I was being attacked by that guy, and uh, he was actually managing to get through my shield since I was diverting everything to the front. So let's take him out. There we go. He's down, and let's see your shield stop this. Because I'm not going to really need too many missiles for the rest of this. I think. I may have just screwed myself there. But it looks like I screwed him too, so that's great. New hostiles in the area. Oh great. Uh, I'm just going to order everybody to disable this guy. Because this is getting crazy. And I'll go ahead and provide cover here while they uh 
see if I can't distract these fighters. Okay, he's down. And hopefully my uh, wingman can disable this guy. I need to watch where I am going. And that was more jump signals. Oh crap. Alpha 1, do not engage the Tyrannus. The you don't have to tell me that, because that looks uh, crazy. New hostiles in the area. Switch back to the disruptor here. The engines are almost down. Okay. Power to the four shields again, because... Uh, I'm not seeing any fighter wings on the objectives list, but I am seeing two out there. There we go, more missiles. See, right there where my shields are getting hit. I can get a better angle on this guy. Just disable his engines. And there he goes. Uh, order them to engage the enemy. Okay. Take out those sheep and fighters there. They said don't engage the Tyrannus. They didn't say anything about his fighter escort. And frankly, these guys are getting annoying. So let's kill them. Because that's what you do when you find new life, is you immediately shoot at it. And there he goes. So we've just got the Ramses sitting there. And I am actually going to back way the hell off, because we're not allowed to... Uh, attack the Tyrannus, and I'm not about to uh, break those orders, because if I remember right, that particular class of cruiser is like hell to uh, try and just take out the fighter, even with shields, it's uh, a bit of a pain in the ass. And you need much, much better weapons than I actually am going to have. So let's just take out this cargo. More fighters. And looks like they're more scorpions. Looks like one of them is trying to attack me, so uh, let's take him out. A big problem though. Looks like the Ramses is holding up pretty well. At least that's really taken any hull damage in the last minute or so. There you go. That's one down. Looks like both of them went down, so uh let's see where's the cargo at? Right up here. Go ahead and take this down. Sucks at range. Let's see, there should be yeah that one right there, and there are a lot of cargo containers to take out here. And meanwhile, the Ramses and the Tyrannus are basically just uh, sitting there. It looks like.
there's just one cargo container left here. Right there. So let's shoot that down. Roger, sir. On our way. And might as well resupply while I'm at it. Just for when the next wave of fighters comes in. There we go. Cargo depot successfully destroyed. I don't know. I think this might be glitched here. Or wait. Uh, bombers. But the uh, Ramses hasn't taken any damage whatsoever yet. It could also be that they expect me to just go straight after the cargo depot and the scripting's a little bit out of order here. So, uh, we'll just see what happens here. Yeah, I think so, because that's a lot to just jump in at once based on uh, what's been jumping in recently. So I think that was all scripted to come in when the cargo depot went down. Which is one of the bad things, it was, uh, again, in the early days of Volition, so the, you know, the original engine for Free Space wasn't very complex, it really didn't have a lot of leeway for things. Uh, Free Space 2 does have considerably more leeway, though uh, there are still a few missions that have uh, that sort of a problem, because, of course, this game, like, uh, Free Space 2 came out, I think, in 99, so it, I mean, it's an old game by today's standards. Uh, the Source Code Project has done a lot to upgrade the graphics of the engine, and there are quite a few campaigns that take advantage of that, but of course the original campaigns just uh, have what they had. Okay, looks like the ramp is taking damage now. Uh, it's down to 31% from uh, 32. Let's take this guy out. Looks like the Bombers have a little bit more uh, resistance to damage. Which makes sense. I mean, they have to fire high explosives and uh, sit around. Excellent job, huh? Yep. Still more jumping in, though. So let's go ahead and just uh, keep firing at them until they all die. That's what we do here. Like just wave after wave of bombers is coming in. I'm guessing these probably were meant to come in over the last few minutes while I was destroying that cargo with almost no uh, resistance. Alright, the support ship is right on me, so I'm going to just stop really quick. Hopefully I don't die while I'm hitting four missiles. There we go. So more missiles and start using them immediately. Just uh, trying to thin out the uh, bombers here. That don't seem to really be doing any damage to the Ramses. Uh, that's my uh, 
basically a uh, enemy gauge, and uh, that tells me various stats about them, speed, uh, distance, uh, what class they are, what their name, uh, it shows me their orientation relative to me, which is great when you're trying to fight something at a distance, and gives various stats like hull integrity and whether it's disabled or not, which disabled just means whether it's engines or operating. Uh, still fire if it's disabled. And uh, over on the right hand side we have all my little stats with shields and uh, little energy management gauges. Tells me how many missiles, countermeasures I have, what weapons I have selected. Uh, and of course my whole integrity is up at the top. Let's see. Still not a whole lot going on. I mean, it doesn't look like the Tyrannus is uh, really doing anything. And it's already been 14 minutes. See, it doesn't look like uh, getting close is causing them to fire at each other at all. There we go. Seeing that, I believe. There we go. Just blown up the Ramses. And. You've done all you can. Return to the Galate. Alright, that seems to have fixed the mission. So it looks like there was a little bit of a scripting glitch there. Unfortunately, the Tyrannus has been interfering with all operations in the Beta Cygni system. The destruction of the Ramses... See, no recommendations and... Your fault. Of course it was it my fault. I'm the one that entered the Jeep that blew the it up. Were able to capture it. it is disturbing that the Hammer of Light fighters have shield technology after all. It seems that this rebellion is far greater in scope than we had initially hoped. Alright, well... Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Trekkie1701C. Please be sure to uh, subscribe and comment.